Barbara Yoshida Bethune. My grandfather, Gohachi Yoshida, made four chests. Mm -hmm. And my uh, one for my mother, and one for his three daughters. So my mother was the mother of his daughter-in-law and three others for his daughters in the camps. Mm -hmm. So my, uh, I grew up with that chest. Mm -hmm. So my brother now has that, that's in Idaho. And we always knew that it was made in the camps. Mm -hmm. And my uh, cousin Marilyn has her mother's chest and she's a daughter. And I inherited this from my Auntie Neil. Neil Uchiyama, she used to be Neil Yoshida in Fife. And, um, so that piece is original. It was wood was a little distressed just from the age. Mm -hmm. So a woodworker friend of mine just said, told me not to do anything with it. Don't try to make it pretty. Mm -hmm. But it could probably use a little oil. I think it was tongue oil. I'm not sure. He put mm -hmm. on it and just lightly uh, polished it just to keep the wood um, in good shape. Right. So that's all that's been done to it. And it was kind of stacked and just with a bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. But my parents, um, when we were growing up, that little chest was in our hallway. And it had always had things in it. It was always a piece of furniture that was we could see mm -hmm. as part of our everyday life. The bird, mm -hmm. yeah, the birds, I remember them. Um, they were in uh, my bedroom, and my mom had some chiffon curtains mm -hmm. and a little sash, and the little birds were just, she pinned them on the sash. Mm -hmm. So I just thought they were birds. They were kind of cute. So mm -hmm. growing up, we always had them. And she gave them to me, and I put them in a little box. I really didn't think that much of them. I mean, mm -hmm. it was just kind of nice. And she told me that they were, uh, my grandfather made them in the camps, but it really didn't register. Right. So those poor little birds were in a little box, mm -hmm. and we lived overseas, mm -hmm. and we must have moved 10, 12 times in three different countries. Wow. I, so I don't know where those little birds were, where they got shoved all through that time, but one day, um, uh, recently, I had a book club group at my house, and one of my friends said, you know, Barbara, uh, you might be interested in National Parks Magazine, has an article on artwork in the camps. Mm -hmm. And so I knew nothing about this. So she brought the, uh, the uh, magazine. When I saw the front and saw the birds, I realized I had some. Mm -hmm. And so for some incredible reason, I was able to find them right away. <laughs> Usually I put things and they get lost right. and I've never seen them again for years. Mm -hmm. So I saw them and our book group was just incredulous. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then I got the, uh, the book, The Art of Come On, and started doing a little bit of research.